Senior Mario Garcia Romo arrived in Oxford with the goal of adding to the legacies of those runners that came before him by collecting as many accolades as possible at every turn. When the pandemic hit, uh, I wasn't able to go home and I decided to stay here to work out with my, with my teammates to just try to find myself to get better. But it is Ole Miss, Ole Miss, Ole Miss. One, two, three, Romo, Bullock, Suleiman. A statement from the top from Ole Miss. It's very rare to see three guys from the same team um, sweep the individual honors in a, a conference meet. and so. That was a really cool moment. I think, you know, watching those guys, you know, I was standing maybe 250, 300 meters from the finish line, you know, watching those guys run in the front of the race the whole time. And then, you know, with less than a quarter mile to go, they round the turn, they're into the finishing stretch, just watching them pull away from the rest of the field. And I think, you know, going and watching the video of it later, kind of seeing the surprise on their face once they realized they were going to go one, two, three, just a really cool moment. To be honest, I didn't realize we were going one, two, three until we crossed the finish line. I just like kick as hard as it could. And then I remember like looking at the scoreboard after the race and I saw like we were one, two, three. And I mean, I would say it was a surprise, but it wasn't also a surprise just because I knew that my teammates were able to do that. And the sight of seeing the name of Romo displayed near the top of the leaderboard has become a regular appearance for the perennial All-American. It's going to be Ole Miss with Victor here in the men's DMR, 929-33. And I think coming back off of the summer, you could just tell he was invigorated. Um, he had a confidence about him that I hadn't seen before. As Ole Miss begins to make a move, he could challenge the Oregon athletes at the NCAA. The Aroma takes the lead and at the bell. Pip sang hotly in pursuit right there. Mario Garcia Romo, can he hold off Elio Pip sang? Yes, he can. Having these awesome outcomes, like these awesome results, were like an award to all the effort I put on the last months. And it gave me a lot of confidence coming into the postseason, into the NCAA Championships next week. Following the SEC Championships, the Rebels would embark on a tough two-week stretch spanning from the cross-country championships in Oklahoma to the start of the outdoor season in Alabama. But, you know, really impressive for, you know, the guys that went to indoor nationals who, you know, kind of shouldered the load for a team that was top 10 in the NCAA. You know, they came back two days later and ran on a cross-country team that got 12th at NCAAs, and that was without really any specific cross-country preparation. And so um, it's really hard to do that. It's also really difficult to be able to do that and then manage yourself competing well beyond that. Given the jam-packed nature of the COVID era schedules, Coach Van Hoy gave the team the choice of competing in the cross-country championships or resting for the upcoming outdoor season. As a coach, I, I told them, hey, you know, we, we did really well at the indoor national meet. Obviously, that was our big focus. We, we have our team qualified to cross-country from our fall season, so if you guys want to run on Monday, uh, great, obviously our team's gonna do better if you guys compete, but if you don't feel like that's in your best interest individually, if you feel like you know, you're too tired or anything like that, like you, I, I'm not making you run, it's your choice. The choice was clear for the Spanish sensation, as the well-accomplished runner continues to raise the bar for all of those around him. I think coming off of COVID last year, you know, he was actually injured prior to um, the season being canceled, and so he missed quite a bit of time and was out of competition for quite a while. And I think for him, it really gave him an opportunity to just evaluate you know, what his goals were, how hard he wanted to work to get there, and, and really, I think, just find himself in a way. The team chemistry has been like better than ever. Like I think we built a really strong culture, and I think it's gonna help in the following years. 